on the Key Peninsula. And last night we were uh, going to stay at a Walmart in uh, Gig Harbor. But there's no Walmart in Gig Harbor. It was in Port Orchard and we did not want to stay at that Walmart. So we ended up coming down to the Key Peninsula which is, how far is Key Peninsula from our house? I forget. What? Are we about, what are we, about an hour from our house? No, we're about 40 minutes. About 40 minutes from our house. And we just pulled into a little area. We don't know if it is um, like a little park and ride area or uh, we've had some people bringing uh, their trailers up from the boat launch. The boat launch is right over here. So it's right there. And then some and people just... This guy just... did a real good job of launching his boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's anchored out here. Uh, I think, are they crabbing or fishing? Uh, gill netting for salmon. Oh, gill netting for salmon. Uh, so yeah, so what we were doing is, um, this is not our typical Labor Day weekend camping trip. By the way, happy Labor Day to all you guys. Um, we are heading over to Tacoma today. And we're going to get, what are we getting, Scott? Some solar panel stuff. Solar panels. We're just going to get, um, well, we're not really sure what we're going to get at this point. Uh, we've kind of been, what, looking at, uh, do you remember what Kind of looking, shopping. We're just going to see what they have. Then go to Camping World and see what they have. And just spend the day cruising around. And then um, we want to get a solar panel because we don't want it so that we can do, like, you know, hair dryers and all of that. We just want it, what do we want it to for? To charge because your battery back Scott up. knows more about it than I do. Just so we don't have to take the generator out every time to charge up the battery. So we're just gonna go do that. And then like you said, we've got to go to Camping World. Camping World and we need to get a new fan for the, above the uh, stove. stove top. It came flying out at me the other day. Twice. Scott, <laughs> Scott <laughs> forgot to put the screen back on and I was cooking and it just came, it came flying off of there. So we need yeah. to go get that. And then we're going to go to the Puyallup. We're going to go do the Puyallup. So if anybody's around, if you guys are watching, you guys are around this state, then you know what the Puyallup Fair is. So we're going to go there and we're going to meet up with a friend over there. And we'll take you guys with us along the ride. Is that it? That's it. Hope That's it don't it. get too hot. Yeah, it's going to get hot today, guys. It's supposed to be in the 90s. I don't want to be around thousands of people when it's hot. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to doing the Puyallup in 90 degree weather, but <laughs> I want to go see the animals and we want to go see our friends. So we're going to go hook up with them, go look at some solar, and we're going to get on the road in just a little bit. So I'll show you guys a little bit more of the canal, or no, this is the key. Okay, this is this out here. What is this, Scott? He knows more about this, this Scott. Is Purdy Spit. Purdy Spit. This is what this is. So it's the Key Peninsula, but where we're standing is the Purdy Spit. Yeah. Scott knows more about this area than I do because he's worked out here and built lots of buildings out here. So. And way out that way is pretty much Olympia. Here, you gotta come down here. Okay, so over at this angle, you have Olympia's at the end of this canal it goes up that's about where the this part of the water ends is in olympia obviously seattle's back that way the coma straight over that way so basically around this bend out here um then you there's tacoma right there and our big bridges and everything so this is just a big inlet and this is the spit and they just put a bridge over to connect that side from to this side where the inlet is we'll go back across the bridge and you'll be able to see what it kind of looks like there's an oyster farm on the other side. And it's a scary bridge, you guys. It is really narrow, and our camper feels like it takes up both sides of the uh, road. It doesn't, but it feels like it, and it's scary. It's Sky has towed trailers and tractors and uh, boats all of his life, as long as he's been driving. And that bridge kind of scares him. <laughs> he, he admitted that yesterday. So, anyways... Uh, yeah, we used to bring our boat up through here when we had our uh, boat, Amor Aquatica, and we would come up here with my mom and dad. I guess we came up here, what, a couple times? Yeah. yeah. A couple times we brought our boat up here. So anyways, that's it, guys. I'm going to turn you guys off. We're going to go up. I'm going to go have another cup of tea. 
surprised Scotty is too. And then we're going to get on the road and we'll take you guys along the, the route with us. All right. What is it? Harbor Freight Tools. Oh, it's got just rolled up on the. Oh no, that's that you rolled up on the curb. Uh, so Scott once told me the first time he ever came to a Harbor Freight Tool, he told me that he now understands how I get when I go into a Michaels or a Joanne's <laughs> or Hobby Lobby <laughs> or a Hobby Lobby. He didn't get it until he went into a Harbor Freight Tools. And I think any man that's probably gone into Harbor Freight Tools probably feels the same way. So anyways, we're going to go in here and see if we can find some solar. All right, so Scotty got his solar panel and we just got a briefcase solar charger 13 watt. I think that's going to be enough. We'll see. I got it plugged in. We'll see how it does. A little bit's better than nothing, but hopefully it's somewhat cost effective. Yeah. We've got a nice day out today. We'll see what happens. And then we'll let you guys know when we, uh, when we know. All right. To put on my face. So Scott just put his hot, sweltering sunglasses, sunglasses on my face. On his face. They and were sitting they right hot. in the sun. So anyways, we're Ooh. here at um, Camping World. And our plans have gotten kind of changed. We were gonna go meet up with Mike um, from Living Free. We were gonna meet up with him at the fair, but he, uh, we some plans got changed, so we weren't we can't do that today. But anyways, we're gonna go in here to Camping World. What are we getting in here? Uh, uh, anything and everything uh, <laughs> that I can afford. Yeah, which is not Bubble a gum. whole lot because we're on a budget. Oh, we're um, gonna get a fan for over the oven. The stove. Yeah, I gotta get that. I already so told you guys fly about in my that. Feet anymore. I already told you guys about that. So we gotta get that and I don't know, we might find a couple things. I wanna get one of those maps that um has the stickers with all the states on it. What? That's yeah. so old school. <laughs> so I'm I wanna get one of those, so I'm gonna see if they have one in here. And then I think since we're not going to the fair, I think we are to the mountain that's over that way. Top of the summit, uh, Suquamish Pass. We're gonna stay the night in this parking lot. Uh, there's a few other people hanging out down here. Uh, beautiful view. Not as cool as I thought it would be up here because yeah, it's, it's still warm up here. Still warm, but uh, the sun's going down on our side, so uh, I'm ready to chillax a little bit. Yeah. So we're gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what our view is through our window tonight, and that's gonna be it, guys. We'll talk to you guys in a few days. Have a good one.